the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom Battery build is done. It's time for us to get out of here. Now we're currently anchored with a star mooring and in our star mooring video that we made, everyone was asking, how do you get that thing back? All right, so ideally you'd have all three of these anchors set out in chain, but we don't have that much chain. So one of them was in rope, but having a rope one actually makes it easier when you go to recover because you just untie the rope, tie the boat off to that one. And now you're anchored to that guy. And then you can have your other two chains here and you just run them out to the anchors. So the whole thing of how do you pick it up? How do you get your anchors back? It's with a dinghy. It's a very dirty job. Dang, that guy's stuck down there. coral down. growing on it. It has coral? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And all sorts of mussels. I got thoroughly soaked, but we did capture a few gallons of water, which is awesome. So I was able to clean the deck, have the deck rinse itself completely, and then capture from some fresh water all in that rainstorm. One thing about traveling in the ICW is, especially in Florida, you have to be aware of how good your boat looks. You can actually be kicked out of an anchorage if your boat looks dirty. So luckily, Better Boat actually sent us these cleaning supplies that we're gonna try out right now. We got a magic eraser, a deck brush, and some soaps, and I'm really excited to try them out. And by me, I mean Herbie, because I'm gonna edit, and he's gonna clean the boat. Jerry, are you going to help clean the boat? Are you, Jerry? Are you gonna help clean the boat? Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna set off. Now this is gonna be our first test run with the new lithium batteries. And I'm so excited. I, I have really high hopes, but I'm also being realistic. So the big issues that we have are the bottom is filthy. Like it is disgusting. We crossed the ocean and our bottom stayed clean. And then we anchored here for a month. And oh my God, just so many barnacles. I took a hoe and I scraped them and I cleaned as far as I could reach, but this water's really gross and I didn't want to go swimming, so I didn't clean the prop, the rudder, or the keel, which are like the three most important parts on a boat. So the plan is we're gonna go from here, go 10 miles north to Jupiter, and then we're gonna anchor near Jupiter Inlet, and there I believe the water would be cleaner, and I'll be willing to jump in, and then I'll go swimming, and then I'll clean the bottom properly. So right now when we give it thrust, there's a lot of prop wash, there's a lot of prop walk, and there's very little go. So I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm very hopeful. I am so ready for this. We've been waiting such a long time to actually move. This area of the very tippy top of Lake Worth, Florida is not a beautiful place. It's really great to be anchored uh, for maintenance because it's right by a West Marine, 
but it's not a great place to be. And over the past few years, we've very much developed a mindset of movement. If we don't love a place, we leave. And so it's been a challenge to be here for so long, but we are ready. We are leaving and I am happy and excited. The children are all ready. Okay, so we are doing a knot and a half, and we're consuming 50 amps. Now normally, this speed and RPM and stuff, we're then going like about four knots. So yeah, I think I gotta get in and clean our prop because this is not working well. I mean, we're like gunning it and hitting a knot and a half. It's just, it's bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head south for about three miles, go to this place called Peanut Island, where apparently on the incoming tide, the water is crystal clear. It's like Bahamas clear. Now the cool thing is it's gonna take us one and a half to two hours to get all the way down there at this ungodly slow speed. But with our new lithium battery bank, we're able to make that. We would never have been able to do that before with our AGMs. We would have had about 20 minutes of runtime at this RPM. However, with our lithium battery bank, we're able to go for three hours at this speed. So that's really cool. Our prop is so dirty that we couldn't even make it to the anchorage. This is literally what's happening right now. We got the generator on to charge the batteries back up. And we sailed a, or motored a grand total of 1.8 miles in two and a half hours. How's that for speed? It was incredibly sluggish. And uh, well, it was frustrating, but at least we know it's because our prop is extraordinarily dirty and it's not anything to do with the boat or the motor or anything like that. Um, now we play the waiting game. We got to an anchorage that is quite clear during high tide, so we have to wait for the tide to come in. Uh, and Herbie actually pulled us in to this anchorage, towed us in with Brad, our dinghy, because we were going so slowly and there's a squall coming. So we had to make sure we got in here and anchored before that squall hit and before our batteries just putted before we even started our journey because it's, I mean, this is supposed to be the test for them, but we can't test them if the boat won't go.
this is going to be the first test of our new lithium batteries. So we got them built. We did some tests before, but this is like our actual range test. Like, can we make it from this anchorage to the next one? And our next anchorage is 12 miles away. Well, we could make it before, but can we make it quickly and without the generator? That's the question. Step up. Okay, here we go. That's a good girl. Um, You're doing so well. Future, if you go front to back, mm -hmm. it's easier on the feathers. You're doing so well. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. You're doing so well, Jerry. Yes. There you are. And the other wing. Yes. Good. Yes, Jerry. Please. <laughs> that is correct. Soft shuffle. Is the anchor all the way up? Yep. You're okay. good. Do you mind if I set some parameters? No. Put the 50 amps instead of 64. Not that we can't run at 64. I just put it on something arbitrary to get out of the anchorage. That is fine. I just want to know what our speed is at 50. Okay, so our first bridge is three miles away. And we... Is that one a fixed bridge or a... It's a drawbridge draw and it opens quarter and three quarter hour. So... Okay. 1015, 1045, like that. So at this pace, we'll be getting there at 11. Oh, geez, so these that's... guys are going to form huge wigs. Oh, yeah. A man and his bird. Man. Yeah. It feels so good to be moving again. Ah, new scenery all around us. It's good. This is cruising again. The ICW is really not a sailable place. You can put up some sail to help push you along, but if you want the feeling of sailing without actually being able to sail, like in the ICW, having an electric motor is awesome because it is quiet. You don't have to run the generator. The lithium batteries are doing everything that they can, and the solar is working with, that, with those batteries seamlessly. It's all just, it's grand. It's a four knot limit through here. So while the ICW is nice because you don't have storms or big waves or anything of that sort, you got wakes. <laughs> lots and lots of wakes. Wisdom, we're all clear. Thank you for the opening. So this has been really awesome. We're motoring at 28 amps. We're going three knots and it's slack water. So this is a pretty good representation of what that much amps gives you in speed. Now, when we go increasing how many amps, we do increase our speed, but it's not a one-to-one. -one. Like when we're doing 50 amps, we're going like three and a half knots. And then hundred amps, we're doing four to five knots. Like it's, it's pretty gradual. So you go increasing a little bit of speed and just chugging the power away. So that just cuts your range down. 
It's the same as if you're driving down the highway. You can drive with a really light foot on the gas pedal and go for a really long time on that tank, or you can just be, you know, hammering it the whole way and, you know, run out of gas. So we're just making our way nice and easy. We're charging with the solar panels. Our average speed is the same because we're still waiting for these bridges to open. So not a huge difference there, but it sure is a lot quieter because we don't have to listen to the generator between all these bridges. It's for you. Thank you. It's for you. There's for you. Here's for you. Okay. Hey. Nice and peaceful ICW. This is very starkly different from how we are out in the ocean. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice because we've got the pets now, we've got Morty, the birds and everything, and so we don't have to worry too much about them. Although we do have harnesses on both birds, uh, just in case. But it's, it's just so peaceful and nice. I love it. Charlie's like, I'm busy. <laughs> Can you not see that I'm busy? <laughs> I have a stick. <laughs> Jerry, kisses. <laughs> Normally when we come up to an inlet and the tide's coming in, that's it. We have to wait for the tide to start leaving so we can get carried towards the inlet and then anchor just past it and wait for the next tide when the tide's coming back in so we can keep going. It's a very slow process. But with our new lithium batteries, we've yet to run the generator today. We've motored almost 10 miles. And then we come to a strong current at the inlet and we're able to fight against it running 100 amps all the way. And now we're gonna turn and be pushed by the current onto the next place. Like it's, it's so awesome. Like these batteries are letting us go not only further and farther and faster, but also beyond one inlet to the next. And that is something we never could have imagined doing before. Further, farther, and faster. Oh yes, further, farther, and faster. <laughs> Looks like we got here just in time. Anchor down, and now it's pouring rain. It is beautiful, but it's time to go already. Every single thing that he mentioned actually counts against the boat if they're gonna go out into the ocean. Because the harder you draw from them, the less amps they have to give. Like it's just it's a really bad system for electric propulsion. Now we are entering Fort Pierce. So we're excited to kind of come into this anchorage. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.